So this is an example of a ventilator. When our lungs get too sick and we can't move air in and out of our lungs, it takes over that job. So what would happen is that this mask would go on your face and then the ventilator forces air in and then in essence sucks air out, which enables us to continue to breathe with the assistance of the ventilator. With ventilation, there are two main sorts of ventilation that we use. One's called non-invasive ventilation and one's full mechanical ventilation. Non-invasive ventilation can be used in an awake patient and that is via a mask like this one where it is placed on, on their face and it's an air seal where it fits on the face and then air moves in and out in continuity with your lungs. And non-invasive ventilation or other forms of respiratory support such as high flow nasal prongs or CPAP which can be delivered through machines like this can all occur on the Ward 5D. Escalation of therapy for someone to be mechanically ventilated going to ICU is when the assistance from a machine like this is exceeded, they would then go to ICU for mechanical ventilation in those patients. So this is an ICU room uh, ready to take COVID positive patients. There's a ventilator able to supply full mechanical ventilation and respiratory support for patients when they need it. We've had a couple of years to prepare for when patients with COVID start coming into hospital and we've got adequate numbers of ventilators and support to look after all of them.